So you just hating in silence. Do every single thing every single day. It's not going good. I'll be honest with y'all, I was gonna move to Austin. Good morning y'all it is really early in the morning it is currently 7 14 um i actually just woke up like maybe 45 minutes ago um and i actually had this date planned out yesterday and i overslept today so love that for me i don't think i'm gonna be out here at a reasonable time to have enough time to be at the outlet. I actually have all of these clothes sitting right here because this is all the stuff that I have purchased at the Goodwill outlet to sell to a buy sell trade store. And it's it's a lot. I tried to count it yesterday, um, but I completely forgot to finish counting. And I think it's like at around like 60 something items. Of course, as I show you guys each piece, I'm gonna let you know if they purchased it or not. And then once we make it to the buy sell trade store and do all the things, then I'll tell y'all how much I actually made um, from selling to them and how much I actually pay for my items, which all of these are from the bins. Of course, I wanna say maybe like a dollar ten per piece. Um, but anyways, this is a women's athleta t-shirt. It is a size um, medium, but it's too basic for me. I know some people had asked me before, like what is the reason um, why I sell it to them instead of listing it myself? And it's really because it's, it's too basic. Um, if this was maybe, Lululemon, I definitely try to sell it, but not really a good one to do. I was actually looking for the tag to see if I can rip it out uh, because if you are not familiar, they actually will look at the clothes and I think it's like three years, if I'm not mistaken, like the past three years uh, to make sure the item is still like, you know, sellable. This is a teak gear. I don't really pick this brand up, but this is a like workout long sleeve top and I feel like that's pretty much where um, they're headed is like, you know, fall, winter items. This is a women's Nike uh, like Thermofit sweater. I think I ripped this one out already, but I'm gonna still check it. It's some brands that keep them in there and Nike is notorious for doing it the same way as Maywell is as well. But I'm hoping that they take at the very least about like 80% of this. That is my, my goal. So I would like to come home with only like 10 pieces. Um, this is a new with tags, wild fable off the shoulder top. Tiffany actually uh, gave me this at the, the bins. Um, and I was like, oh yes, of course, because I can sell this to a buy sell trade. So this one says uh, 2020. So we ripped that tag out. So they won't know. But since this one is new with tags, uh, they love new with tags pieces. So we absolutely love that. So it makes it so much easier. I thought about listing this myself, but I want to sell it to them first. This is just a Lily Pulitzer um, like linen cotton t-shirt. So, and it's an extra, extra small. So it's very tiny. This is an all in motion t-shirt. I'm not really sure if they're gonna take this just because this is um, like a crop top, I've noticed. So we'll see. But I've noticed that um, they do buy like these little, you know, not so amazing um, workout brands like that Teak Gear all in motion. This is Jack's Girlfriend New York. I'm assuming that they may be looking for flannels. So I went on and got this. Um, I'm not buttoning it up. <laughs> I know when Megan watches this, she's gonna be like, girl, <laughs> button those buttons and stop playing, but I'm not. So they'll receive it like this. And I, I'm sure they'll be able to see the vision of like wearing it open, cause it's pretty oversized. This is Beach Lunch Lounge. Just this really pretty like mock neck sweater. Um, I try to stick to pieces that I feel like I would actually list in my closet. And that is what motivated me to pick it up because I feel like when I liquidate items from my, my closet um, to the buy sell trade store, they take more things versus when I buy items to sell to them. So I try to stick to that game plan. This is Express. It's like a chunky knit heavyweight sweater and it's kind of got like a little flare sleeve. Let me see if they got a label in here. Express also kind of tells you the, the date. Yeah, this is from... 2015 almost 10 years ago but i feel like it's still wearable now because it's like a chunky knit with a flare sleeve 
I don't really have a, a rhyme or reason. I do have some other items, so I probably should mix those in. Um, this is just a Fabletics sports bra. So put that there. This is a Nike sports bra. Let me see. Like I told y'all, Nike is pretty good for doing it. This one is from spring of 19, so we for sure gonna rip that off. And this was just a no-name brand, but it felt like it could have been wooden chips. If you've ever felt wooden chips, that's what um, this pretty much feels like. But I didn't wanna sell it, but if, a lot of these pieces, if they don't take, I'll most likely go ahead and list them, but I'm gonna list them really cheap. Um, this is Tahari. This thing is really, really soft. It's like a mock neck sweater. Um, I've been picking up Tahari uh, pieces lately, so. I'm gonna see how these are gonna do. If they don't take that, of course, I'm gonna list it. This is Princess Polly. This is more so for, um, what is the other place called? Uptown Cheapskate than it is for um, Clothes Mentor. This is just a shacket. Um, it's more of a corduroy style, so got that. I try to lay these pieces out so they wouldn't be uh, wrinkles because I know how uppity um, Uptown Cheapskate is. Well, the second location. The first one didn't care, but the, the second one is a little uppity. They're in an uppity area, so I guess. This is a Nubatag Cider uh, dress. I actually was in the process of listing this one, but then I realized that this is a like no different from Shein, so it wouldn't make any difference because I'd only probably get about 12 to 15 for it. So I decided to go ahead and um, you know sell it to them because it is Nubatags. This is Old Navy. Um, it's a New Tags sweater. If it was my size, I probably would have tried to keep this, but I'm sure they're gonna take this one just because it's New Tags. It's Old Navy. It's black. And oh, let me look at the. I almost forgot y'all. This is oh okay. This is actually from uh, 2023. So I'm gonna leave the tag in for that one because it's it's just last year. I feel like maybe if it's from 2022 and on, then I'll mind leaving it. This one was a random. Uh, the brand is called Botkir. Hopefully I said that right. Um, I actually looked up comps in the Southie rate and it's terrible. So um, since this is in excellent condition, I thought that they might want it. So we'll see. Hopefully they do just because I'm gonna have to list it really low. Today is definitely gonna be a, you know, hitting up all of the buy, sell, trade stores. So today's agenda, I will be heading to the Goodwill outlet. So I'm gonna actually speed through the rest of these. Um, I'm probably only gonna be there for like 45 minutes. Then we're gonna go to the um, Goodwill that is like further out, which is closer to the buy, sell, trade stores. Then I'm gonna hit up the very first buy, sell, trade store. Then I'm gonna hit up the second one. And then I'm gonna hit up the third one. And then we're gonna grab lunch. And then we're gonna come home. Um, and then I'm gonna list. These are a pair of lovers and friends, like, I don't even know what this is called, but they're like a button uh, situation. They're button up. I decided to give this to them just because I haven't had any luck selling lovers and friends, so I want to give it to them. This is Airy Leggings. I would have sold these if they were a flare, but they are not. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, sell it to them. It is still a desirable style. It's just a skinny um this is sonoma not a great brand but this fair owl print i thought they'd be interested in y'all see i'm trying to rush through it now um this is ann taylor size large it's just this really pretty like button down blouse i feel like they like uh long sleeve tops um this one shows 9 20. so this is from 2020. damn they didn't want to come out still pretty some stuff, even though it's like years old, it still, you know, look good. This is a new tags uh, loft top. Let me make sure the tag. Because I feel like that's what held me back a few other times is not ripping these tags out. Okay, this is from 2022, so I think it's still desirable. Like I said, this one's new with tags, so that's the reason why I got it. I don't really care for Ann Taylor loft. Um, this is Eddie Bowers, just a women's like quarter zip. Again, I probably could have listed this, but I'd much rather sell it to them. Oh, let me check the tag. I keep forgetting. I probably need to start doing this when I bring it home so I don't have to sit here and do this. Yeah, this one says summer of 2017, so for sure ripping that out. So, still a pretty good piece. Shut down this 
one. This is actually from my personal closet. Um, it's an all in motion size extra large, um, just kind of like a workout jacket. I got some other ones that were larger sizes since I've gained weight. This one is from 2021, so I'm gonna rip that out. But yeah, so I decided to go ahead and you know sell it to them. I'll be honest with y'all, all in motion is is a really damn if I can rip this motherfucker off. It's a really good um are you okay no, but okay there we go but like i was trying to say all emotion is actually a really good um brand i get duped all the time when i'm at the bands and i feel something really nice and then i look at it and it's a damn all in motion and not the lululemon that i thought it was this is a women's mac studio new tags sweater um this is a size small but it is huge but it retailed for 128 dollars and then was at Nordstrom's Rack. Should I take that off? I'm going to take the Nordstrom's Rack one off. Because um, the Nordstrom Rack says uh, that it was a mere $40. So this brand is not really the best. So leave that behind. Uh, this is a Urban Outfitters cardigan. It is a size small. So that's why I'm trying to sell it to them first. If they don't take it, I'll go ahead and list it. But... Urban Outfitters just take too long for me to sell. This is Stitch and Knot. I don't even know what brand this is. Kind of like a boutique brand, I'm sure. So, that. These are some new tags. A New Day uh, straight pants. Oh, I probably should check the tag. I forgot. Oh, this one's from 2024. So, this is still new. I had noticed that I have... Um, a couple green pairs of pants so i'm just like oh shoot uh these are silver jeans these are like a boot cut i initially thought about listing these myself but the tag is um more up to date and i noticed that these particular pieces don't do that well for me so leave that behind this is a new tags uh size 3x and it is a brand called ideology um this colorway is so freaking pretty so pretty um, but I'm gonna go ahead and sell it to them. I just really hope I come home with nothing. That would be like amazing. <laughs> uh, since I don't have thread up no more to send the rest of the stuff to, I feel like thread up gave up on me too soon. Cause it's like, I'm getting better. Like I'm getting better at sourcing for, you know, the buy sell trade. This is old Navy. Again, it's another like uh, workout top. This one's a quarter zip. Um, what year is this from? Yeah, it's from 2017. This is a Nike's um, like sweater, whatever situation. Um, I thought about trying to sell this, you know, myself, but I ultimately decided I'd rather them have it than me. It is kind of like a, a better, you know, quality item. So I feel like they would like something like this. It's not too basic. This is intro. It's just this really pretty blouse. Um, it's kind of like a crop top, but this colorway is definitely a fall colorway. This is Everlane, a pair of like slacks. They are like faded. Um, I really don't know why I decided to even pick those up, but I did. Um, this is Mondetta. This is a new to me uh, brand, but it's just like a pair of like sweatpants. Um, I actually got a like a top from this brand just recently and I love it. I can't wait for it to get like at the very least about 60 degrees outside so I can actually wear it. Um, I'm pretty iffy on this one, but this is a new tags old navy top. Um, the new tags is the reason why I picked it up. I feel like I picked this up for myself, but I didn't like how it looked on me. Yeah, this is from 2022, so I'll keep the tag on that one. Hopefully they decide to keep this one and just put it off to the side because some of them do that. They still take, um, you know, out of season pieces. They just put it off to the side. This is Banana Republic. Um, again. I could have sold this, but I want to sell it to them first to make sure the label is on there. I'm out this so freaking dry. Okay, it's 7.30, so. Okay, this is a size two. These are also um, new with tags. These are like some carpenter pants, utility pants. Um, let's see what season. This is from 2022 again. So, put this in there. This is, um, I don't know what brand this is, but these are some really cute looking colorway, uh, like pull on active pants. 
this is a Athleta tank top. Um, I'm really trying to stop picking up Athleta um, tank tops because I have a lot of them. This is a new day. This one also is new with tags. Let me see what year. This is from 2018, so yeah. Yeah, so this one retail for $23. But $23 in 2018, so that's probably equivalent to like $30 now. This is Line and Dot. I believe this is sold at Revolve, if I'm not mistaken, but this is kind of like a cute little balloon sleeve, um, chunky knit sweater, and it's given like a pretty cute ball colorway. This one is a Knox Rose, new tags, like, you know, piece. I picked this up like very end of what you call this is 2022 as well so got that hopefully they keep these summer pieces because in texas it's still it's still pretty hot out here um we're getting down to the 80 degree mark though so that's that's good not 80 degrees exactly but under 90. um this is also new with tags this is gap um this colorway is is a good transitional color um it's you know it's pretty so hopefully they take it. These are some Gymshark leggings. Um, definitely not a brand that I care for unless it is a decent piece. This is Nui Tags again. Yeah, Nui Tags Genie Beanie or Gianni Beanie. I'm not sure. I don't know what's going on with the puff sleeves, but I feel like I picked up a lot of puff sleeve items. This is a Nike shirt. I actually just sourced um, these pieces on the ground today. Not today, but yesterday. So very new um this is altered state these are just like some flare pants i've never come across a pair of um altered state pants so this is pretty interesting oh boy it's getting pretty full um this brand is called billa bong and it's in collaboration with smiley they say they like graphic tees so i picked this one up for some reason i don't sell a lot of graphic tees so I don't pick it up from my closet as often. This is Abercrombie and Fitch. It just is really cute, like boho piece. I know the girls say that Abercrombie is coming back, but um, I don't know. I don't really trust this piece. I did just sell a sweater for $25, but it had a few factors to it. So I don't know if I trust a regular top. This is a new tags MTV shirt. The tag literally says $5. So I don't know if, <laughs> I think actually I took the $5 off, but I left the tag on, so. All right, this is a Nike's uh, piece. I really thought this was current, but this was um, like 2020 or like 2019 um, or 18, but it's just this pink crop like sweatshirt and um, the Nike logo is like going down. It's in excellent condition. So I think they definitely will be taking this. I feel like I thrive better selling to them um, during fall time, fall and winter because I, have an eye this is a chico's piece very lightweight cardigan um it is a size one so that's why i didn't really want to sell it myself because y'all know that chico's is my girl um these are a pair of like 501 levi's pants um, i have no doubt they'll take this i feel like pants for me um from levi's just don't perform this is h and m this is actually more so for um uptown but maybe you know the first one will accept but i doubt it this is gap also new with tags these are some corduroy pants they are skinny but y'all keep saying that skinny jeans are coming back in so um i want to pick them up i'll be honest with you as a person that lived through the skinny jean era in high school um i actually loved them back then because they looked really nice with the vans that i used to wear i was living in california so y'all know the vibe um and now i just i don't know these are some eileen fisher like linen pants um i personally would have sold these so if they don't take them i'll sell them but i do think that they will take these um but those are eileen fisher they're like an extra small so that's why i really didn't care for them this is casa cabana um i actually learned about this from another youtuber um it's i believe sold at nordstrom's but the resale market it wasn't there so that's why i went on and decided to sell it to them all right and then the last piece is actually all in motion these are just like some um just regular regular like i guess activewear pants all right so this is all the stuff that i listed yesterday and i just need to put away but we're not going to do that today um this is all the stuff that i've sourced the last two days 
so i'm lucky enough to have all of these pieces to be able to just list today so i don't have to stress about the bins um and then of course our hogan that we are finished with so i'm actually just about to make a, a coffee to go i'm gonna make my hot coffee instead of my um cold brew that way i can still have some cold brew um today <laughs> i'm gonna just make this one maybe i'll do the latte so you I got like three different options. Okay, so once that get done, then we're gonna be out of here. Um, this week I've been doing like a completely different like work schedule and it's been working and I love it. So I've also been sourcing more at the Google outlet. So y'all know typically I would only give it about two hours each day and I would go four days a week, which I know that a lot of people, you know, may have, you know, some words about that but i personally now now because old gloria i used to love just going once a week and just bulk buying all of my inventory and just spreading it out but now that i go four days a week i'm able to find better things i don't have to settle for stuff just because i'm not like I don't want to say desperate but just feeling like okay i only have one day to source you know what i'm saying and i feel like back then um my life looked a lot different than now so i was able to be done with work like around four or five because i only source that one day out of the week um and then after that everything was like gravy but now since i source every day which is two hours a day um i'm able to not only be able to be picky with the items that i do pick up and i don't have to settle as often as i used to um but but I have added on an additional hour because what my plan was for this week was to um, take Thursday off from sourcing because I would have had a damn I would have had enough items to actually um, list for Thursday and I showed y'all my rack at home I actually got enough stuff from you know just Monday and Tuesday so that makes me happy so I'm actually just gonna keep continuing to do that granted today I'm not gonna be able to do that just because I gotta go to the buy sell trade store it's been it's been nice like these last two days have been really nice uh, with sourcing so I've been able to find a lot of stuff for the buy sell trade store I've been able to find a lot of stuff for my business it's just been working out that way um, and I wanted to continue it. that's why I was trying to leave I don't know where are you going um, but that's why I was trying to leave so early because I really wanted to um, you know get like two hours in um, at the very least but that's definitely not happening because I I'm still trying to squeeze in that trip to a regular store yeah you better keep it pushing buddy um, but yeah so I'm trying to squeeze in um, a trip to the regular Goodwill just because I have not been to um, that side of town thrift stores in a while maybe i'll put that on my list to go next month and then i don't have to rush to go to the bins today i'm gonna see i'm gonna play it by ear so by the time 8 30 gets here when i'm at the bins and i don't have you know that many things or it's not really that great then i'll go ahead and leave but if it's looking good then i'll stay for an additional hour because um it's going to be like a 30 minute drive to the buy sell trade store so because i've been um watching the resellers edge i've been watching a few modules um that they have they have them segmented which is pretty cool but it's specifically to gross more money each month these modules so i was looking at one of them and um essentially it was basically saying like you need to kind of work ahead and not just like how i'm working i work day to day like my job i do every single thing every single day um and i don't leave any room for any like mistakes so i don't leave room for if anything is to happen i can take a day off granted i can take a day off regardless but my business won't be happy about it because last week um like i told you i came back from um damn how long does it take to turn shit damn they're about to get my parking spot oh no they're not <laughs> it's right in the front y'all let me squeeze up in here Oh shoot, I usually like the back end, but it's not that serious right now. It's exactly eight o'clock and we're about to go into the beans. Let me take a sip of coffee. So freaking good. Okay, where's my keys? I'm gonna take this jacket off because I know I'm gonna get hot. I've actually been liking to come to the beans earlier than my normal time. Um, just because it's a lot of stuff that they like don't pick up from yesterday that's still there and it's still good hopefully i'm not ashy okay cool let me take one more sip child i have to prioritize brushing my teeth this morning so 
I didn't get to drink my coffee. Okay, so I'm done. I got a lot of stuff. Um, I ended up doing exactly what I told y'all I was gonna do, which was um, if it was okay the first 30 minutes, I was just gonna stay. So it is currently like 9.30 right now. So I'm actually about to head straight to the um, buy, sell, trade store. the medium one um it's it's good if you maybe just get a few things from a store then that one's good but it's it's really small compared to to that one yeah yeah, yeah but if you're not like buying a whole bunch of stuff then i think that the small one is good it's just really it's really small yeah yeah but it's, it's still good that's why i don't i never use that one because you can barely put anything in there all right, y'all, so they took literally, and I'm not exaggerating, 95% of that Hogan. Y'all saw it. I don't even know if I wanna go because it's only like, it's not even 10 items. Let me look through it. I'm gonna look through it because I gotta refold them. I'm gonna ask them how many people they have in front of them. You better not come park beside me. Okay, let me go see real quick. 15, 16, okay. All right, it's 16 pieces. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go. All right, y'all, that was so quick. Um, <laughs> what's so funny is that this lady next to me, I think she was uh, the first person ahead of me. And um, when I walked in, I asked her how long would it take and she said, it's just one person ahead, um, but maybe about 15 minutes. So I said, oh, I'll just stay inside. So at this location, if you don't stay inside, of course, they're going to literally, you know, go to the next person. So whoever stays inside is going to get their items um, looked at first. So um, at Close Mentor, 43 items and I made $114.75. I opted to get um, cash. I always prefer cash. I did pick up one item at the first location. Um, it was a pair of Sister Mary um, like pants. They weren't linen, they were cotton. And I remember when I went in there last month, um, I saw them and I was gonna get them, but I opted out of getting it. Um, and then this time I picked them up, I was walking around and then I decided to not get them just because we're not in season anymore and they're white. Um, so I left it anyways. Uh, so this next one at Uptown Cheapskate, they took seven items for $26. Um, I don't think I want to waste my time going to the next one. So, um, I just put in an order for new poly bags and all of the things because I don't have any more stickers. I don't know how I keep running out of stickers, so I just doubled it up this time. Um, so now I have, you know, a good amount. So I just made an additional 70 bucks. Now, honestly, um, this isn't bad at all. I just think that, I think having like a hundred items makes it worthwhile. What I've noticed is that the stuff that they kept passing over is summer items. Even if they were new with tags, they still left them behind. So I'm gonna see the sizes of them and I'm probably just gonna go ahead and list them. Okay, um, so my intent was to be away from this area by 1 p.m., but it is currently 11.21, so I'll just go to one thrift store, and then I'm gonna head home. I ain't gonna lie, like, I didn't triple my money, but I feel like maybe this is just not the area where, where you triple your stuff unless you are getting, like, mid-tier great pieces, you know? And I'm actually upset they didn't take that bag. I'm like terribly upset the first location didn't take that back because that was actually for them. I don't even know which one to go to. I'll go to the one that I used to really enjoy going to. This used to be my honey hole store. 
when I lived over here. I'm actually surprised that they took seven items. I think she was being nice because the stuff that I just looked over when I went back there and counted, it didn't look like much um, that they would take here. Because I know the last time I went, I had told y'all that I need to prioritize um, this location because they give me more money instead of Clothes Mentor. But I feel like when I'm at the bins, I'm only able to source things that Clothes Mentor is gonna take versus things that this place takes. Because I feel like when I source for um, Clothes Mentor, Clothes Mentor, they sell things that I sell. And then Uptown Cheapskates, they don't sell things that I sell. They sell super boutique, like, super fast fashion trendy items and i don't typically um sell those types of items so that's why it's so hard to um you know juggle both of the stores when i'm trying to focus on just one not going good so I am gonna leave in 20 minutes if I can't find anything all right y'all so I'm actually done with thrifting for the day I'm just getting a little wet one about to just wipe my hands off um for some reason it's so gloomy outside i didn't even recognize it's lunchtime and my stomach is is pretty hungry um i am not like fasting but i am kind of doing like a window um i typically don't eat until like two i just put out a reseller vlog yesterday and y'all seem to be loving it um i was a little hesitant because that little intro clip that i put in the front um with me calling that lady out of her name <laughs> i just was really upset because that was the same lady that um that made my packages go up and i had to pay all of those surcharges um and it was a whole bunch of mercari sales so when it's on poshmark who cares because it's you know it's a priority but when it's on mercari oh, that little bit makes a big difference. Uh-oh, they about to hit each other, child. As long as they don't hit my damn car. But anyways, um, so I was pretty upset because I, I paid, I had to pay, I think it was like $50 in total for all the surcharges that I had got. Now, that's not a lot in the grand scheme of things, but that's $50 that I missed out on. You get what I'm saying? Um, because she put one item that weighed, or I think I was telling y'all it was her water bottle. Her water bottle was sitting on the wear and she scanned in all of my packages and then I was getting hit left and right surcharges surcharges and it was surcharges on um, eBay as well like it was two dollar three dollars like it was just a whole bunch of surcharges on Mercari and eBay and I felt like it was intentional because as soon as I had told her that she didn't say anything she just immediately printed out the receipt for the three that she scanned didn't apologize didn't say yes because I, I asked her a question and she didn't even answer it she just took it off so it's like she knew what she was doing because why leave the package on there why leave your water bottle on the scale when you've been working here and you know for a fucking fact that it's gonna weigh as something so I just felt like I was really annoyed so typically when I'm super annoyed and in my feelings I be cussing real loud so but I think I'm about to go to um Cadoba since I'm counting calories I gotta be real specific with the food places I go to So like I told y'all, this was gonna be my gallery section. I got all the uh, photos out. I initially picked up two, like two packs of these um, white border, what is it called, frames? But they are ones that are supposed to like be tacked into something. So I ended up putting those back, unfortunately. 
Um, so this is a part that I kind of hate because I felt like I was supposed to stay true to like smaller size things, but for some reason I really wanted this one. Um, I mean, I can put it over here, but it's going to interfere with my photos for my business wall. I wanted this section to be the gallery. <laughs> uh, and honestly, I could go upward, but I kind of wanted to just focus on just this area. But since I got this one, I might can put this one in the bathroom. Let's see. If I put something here, then something else has to go here. Just for it to look leveled, you know, and not like super tacky. I'm okay with that being there though. I can put that there and then all of these <laughs> are all different frames um, and when I was watching like a lot of studio apartment vlogs their gallery walls always look tacky um, but tacky like I guess in a good way because at the end of the day it's a gallery wall so at first I remember telling you I was gonna put um, you know photos of me and my son but i think if it's a gallery wall maybe i should try to find like really nice i don't know words and like photos and stuff and then just uh print them out at walgreens but i think for this one i will be putting a photo in just because this one kind of sticks out the most so one of these days i'm gonna actually like work on it i feel like i need a little bit more because it's just these four. I kind of hate that they don't really tie in. <laughs> I mean, I could paint this one green. Well, I guess maybe. It's just going to look really, really tacky. Thrifting my wall decor just makes everything come together. And when I was watching the vlogs, a lot of people thrifted um, their items or they got them on, um, you know, the website where people is like, oh, I'm selling the Facebook. So I kind of want to stick to that theme um, and my flowers are clearly dying. Um, I've been taking care of them, but I noticed that they are slowly decaying. But today is Wednesday, so they've made it for a long time. Typically, by the time Monday get here, I got to throw them in the trash. I'm actually really happy about how everything went today. I think I came home with like six pieces. I wanted to like sell 90% of the items and that is exactly 90%. Um, so yeah, I guess it was a success. And to be honest with y'all, the stuff that they didn't take is literally all summer pieces. I really thought the second location was gonna take it. So I'm for sure just gonna put everything up for like $15 and call it a day. I'm also surprised that they didn't take these Mondetta pants from the first location because they take this brand, but I guess because they're sweatpants. Honestly, I probably can keep these. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually going to keep these and put them in dirty clothes. But yeah, it was actually not bad at all. This is what's left. So what? Four summer pieces, a tank top, which is also a summer piece, and then I'm going to list these.
this is a new tags soma um what do you call this a robe uh it's a teddy Lux. so it's a size large extra large it's so so soft if i didn't already have a robe and then a snuggie i would keep this so i'm gonna go ahead and sell her i need to make sure i put those together uh, this is a cloth and stone um, made with love for anthropology. It's just a button down top. Again, that is like a bread and butter brand for me. A quick 20 to $25 flip. This is soft surroundings. This one's a 3X, which is great. It's just this really pretty like floral blouse. Of course, um, you'll most likely have to wear like a slip or a cami up under it because it is pretty sheer. So, yeah, I've been dabbling back into soft surroundings just because it's been performing um i'm not really size specific um but i do notice a huge difference uh in the quickness of an item selling when it is a larger size so this is express these are the trouser mid-rise size large they have an elastic band waist and they're stretchy and they're wide leg uh and they're size large so that was going to be a great pickup. It is like new without tag because it has that drawstring on it and they still feel very luxe. So we love that. This is Athleta. These are some um, pants. Unfortunately, they're a size zero, but this is a really good style. I don't know which one it is. It kind of looks like the dance studios by, um, what do you call it? By Lululemon. So excited to see how these are going to do. The tag is the gray one, which is kind of circa I want to say like what 2016 ish so I'm gonna have to see do a little bit more research for that one this is that earthbound that I was telling y'all about before so I have found two earthbound camp shirts and I think I briefly talked about um camp shirts in my last ship with me video not ship with me but source and ship and uh essentially camp shirts are just like you know these I don't want to say crazy but they're just kind of like patterned button down shirts that are short sleeve and essentially you just think of it as like when you go to camp you know um so i picked this one up this one's a size medium the other two that flipped within like days were size extra extra large so i'm sure that's going to play a role in it but i'm gonna see how this one's going to do i think this one doesn't really have a fighting chance just because we are moseying out of summertime so just to kind of you know remember that part is that when summer comes around again i'm going to be picking up camp shirts heavily this is kindred braverly and it's a maternity brand um i think i picked up one item from this brand and it flipped pretty quickly so i went on and grabbed this one um what is this this is a style pickup um, the brand tag is ripped off, unfortunately, but it is a Christmas sweater. It doesn't look like it's Christmas sweater because it's pink and teal. These are more so like um, the 80s colorways, um, but I'm assuming this might be like a small or a medium, but this one just says ski you later. So it's kind of cute, like a cute little quote. This is a pair of figs pants. Um, again, I do still pick this up when it's in good condition only at the bins um, this one's only a size small so we'll see how long that's gonna take to sell it is a different colorway so it's not like the typical one now I don't know if this is the brand that I was hearing people talk about remember I told you I didn't actually go and check um, on any of these items but it's Tibby I feel like I heard this brand um, from a reseller that makes a lot of money before probably mogi bath it's either tibby or toby i'm not sure i'll know once i photograph it but yeah it's just like this really cute black oh my god i was so nervous i'm like why is it ripped why is it ripped it looks it's not ripped but that's like the style it just looks weird like why is that like that who created that but yeah that's the style because it's on the other one too so we'll see um, this is J. Jill. These are a six tall and they're some um, velvet pants. They look like they're uh, like a skinny straight. Um, so yeah, and they have pockets. So we love that. I typically love J. Jill. 
we almost done y'all i know y'all are like girl what did you get uh this is jackpot <laughs> new york 100 percent rayon this one is a maxi skirt it's kind of like this patchwork style um, I know the colors are not really giving fall, but I think this would be a great piece for Valentine's Day. Like, a great, great piece. Um, with maybe like a, a white, well, I don't know if you can wear a tank top and on Valentine's Day. It's pretty cold, but we'll see. All right, what is this? Oh man, I forgot to check the comps. Oh boy. Um, this is Laura Ashley. It is a little girl's dress. It's a size six. I feel like I um, heard Laura Ashley, why is this a, I was about to say, why is this an open back for a little girl type of weird shit is that? They're, they need to be buttoned up, so we're good. Anyways, um, but I remember hearing somebody talk about Laura Ashley, so I think that's why I put it in and I had just forgot to look it up, so that's my fault. All right, and then the last thing is actually a pair of Gap corduroy pants. These are a six tall, probably the same person that dropped off the JGL because I did find them pretty close to together. So, yeah. Corduroy, velvet, like, it's just a really good fabric. So, I'm going to go ahead and inventory all of these. So, since I already got a rack full of clothes that I told y'all I've been oversourcing, so tomorrow I don't have to source, um, this is the stuff that's going to be getting listed today. Not all of it because I still have, uh, like, three sets of bundles on the floor that has to be together so whatever it is I'm gonna stick to um, only doing the 25 for some reason yesterday I only did 24 so I'm gonna do 26 today just to kind of make sure this week is on track of getting a hundred out um, instead of me like over listing where I would typically list whatever's on the rack because I want the rack to be clear we're not doing it anymore um, so I'm just going to list my 25 and then I'm just going to continue to let the clothes carry over until we get to a point where I'm days ahead instead of just one day, you know, because uh, I'm sure these great sourcing days is probably not going to last. So I need to take full advantage of them and just kind of continue. I think moving forward, I'm going to try to figure out a way to start photographing things so then those can be a day ahead. Um, and just kind of working it out that way um, and, and scheduling it out and, and doing that. Just not, I ain't gonna do it like for weeks in advance because I'm the only person working for me. Um, if I had an employee, 1000%. Um, but we are not there yet. <laughs> so uh, I gotta do what I can and still try to keep a balance because I do have a, a work-life balance as far as having the days off and then my work days separated, but I feel like I don't want to overwhelm myself on the days that I am working um, like I had been working, you know, the 12 hours. Um, so I just want to, you know, reel it in a little bit. quite a few pieces that I need to photograph on the ground and I'll be honest I'm not really up for that but it's a bunch of trousers and pants I'm gonna just stick to the stuff on the hanger for now it's like a whole bunch of bras um I just I don't know if that haul is gonna be out yet but it's like a whole bunch of skims bras that I found um, typically what I like to do is to put everything um, of course on the rack I like to fill up all of the hangers um, I do have some more bottoms but I'm gonna just not do that now because it's not needed um, but just put this over here turn on my light y'all I'm obsessed with this thing um, this is definitely one of my best purchases I'll just bring it down just a little bit and turn it on. So I do have these two items that were um, flawed. So you already know I keep my little bag full of flawed items. I'm most likely gonna wash next week. I typically like to keep enough flawed items for like two loads because I feel like anything less than that is a waste of my money. So <laughs> uh, they will sit in there typically for like a month which is not good because some of those pieces are summer pieces 
and they need to be listed so yeah gotta work on that but yeah but anyway so whatever is on the rack i will in fact steam but i need to go through it first get my handy dandy bucket and i don't really have any sweaters that need any shaving just a lot of stuff that needs to be you know lint rolled i was really happy about this one this is a Cezanne piece it's a body suit so unfortunately it doesn't have you know a lot of factors but i think the brand alone makes this a good piece um i think i want to photograph this open just so they know that it is a kind of like a a moto jacket that is so cute if i had a daughter i would keep that for her and then i try to lint roll just about everything just because you don't know what has like somebody's hair on so i still like to lint roll it even if you don't have to visibly see it so when i move into my new apartment that's one bedroom i think i'm gonna get me a standing mannequin because i feel like this one is is easy to deal with but i would prefer like a, a full body and then one that is not this one's a small i guess maybe the smaller sizes are better just because if you have a small piece and you need to put it on let's say a size medium mannequin it won't work out so never mind I guess i'll stick to a size small but i just want a like a physical body instead of a half thing because that thing gets annoying when it doesn't cooperate I was talking about not picking up uh, these suede leather jackets in a haul video and I just sold uh, one, not what I just bought, but like one that I had listed already uh, for $40. They sent me a $40 offer, which was just 20% off my listing price. So I find it kind of ironic that I was complaining about it because I, I think I was saying that the colored leather jackets just stop selling for me um so that's why i was like reluctant or hesitant on picking up these two but these are pretty basic colorways like brown and black are very basic uh colorways to get in a leather coat so yeah it was a teal one i'll pop it on the screen um a teal leather coat so of course the right buyer has to come along but i think i have a burgundy one left and then i have um kind of like a what is that thing called it's from sonoma which is not a good brand i think it's sold at kohl's but it's a genuine suede leather jacket i think i'm gonna go in and update the title and put like penny lane in it um that's a, it, it's not exactly a penny lane coat but it's pretty close to it and i think i was trying to get 40 dollars for it as well i feel like when it comes to like leather things like not even really wool anymore, but it could be if it's the right brand. $40 should be like the minimum, you know? Okay, I forgot. So this one's a bundle, so I'm gonna need another additional piece. Okay, I'll just trash it. I still need to buy some more. I feel like I need to buy the lint rollers in bulk and stop playing. Cause I just try to, the same way I work, which is like a little bit of everything every single day. I feel the same way when it comes to my supplies. I don't bulk buy supplies. I buy enough that's gonna last for about two months and then so on and so forth. Um, I think with me being in this uh, smaller space too, I just don't wanna have too much, you know? When I start looking for another apartment, I am gonna want, of course, a one bedroom. I'm gonna go between a one bedroom and a two bedroom but realistically, a one bedroom is most likely gonna be it. Um, but a one bedroom that has like a, a dining area or even a sunroom, I would love a sunroom. Uh, that would be perfect, a sunroom. Um, so like a one bedroom and then a sunroom. So then that can be my, my office and then, you know. But I realized that since being in here, I didn't notice how bad I want a balcony. <laughs> um, I really, really want a balcony and I hate that I have just this one window at the bottom that opens, the other two don't open. So I haven't had any fresh air in here for a while, which is not good. <laughs> um, I, I did open it up maybe like two weeks ago because somebody smelled like they was smoking. What is this? 
found a piece of candy. Is this is this old candy? Campiano? Let me show y'all. Try to date that candy. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I realized that I really want to get a balcony again uh, because I want to open my windows. I miss opening my windows. I used to be, when I lived in California, I would keep my windows open because I love, love, love fresh air. Um, and I feel like I'm just breathing in the same funky air and it's because it's so hot in Texas that I can't really open the window and then they don't have a fucking screen on it which is the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life they must was really cheaping it out and was like you know what let's not put a screen on it because we don't want them to keep it open which is, is strange I feel like they they made the window small enough to where you can't jump out of it I mean if you're skinny enough you probably could but I don't know. So yeah, that is the plan. Cause I regret not actually moving into a one bedroom initially, but I had to be realistic. Um, I had to go off my numbers from January and y'all know December is when I actually uh, beefed up my listings. And that's when I started to um, not necessarily see the money. I told you I didn't see a different amount until March. I started 25 listings a day in December and I didn't see a difference until March. So it took a while. So when I was looking for an apartment, I had to make sure that it was only going to be like a third of my income because I still have debt to pay. I still have my bills to pay. Like I still have, you know, things to pay and um, I have to be mindful of that. So I was going off of January numbers and I'm like, okay, something that's affordable, something that is, um, you know right up my alley i don't want to live any place that i don't feel safe in i don't want to uh live too far out from my job which is you know the vans um so it was a lot of things to consider and i wanted to have like you know good amenities and stuff like that so this one kind of fit up the alley but i'm still gonna make sure i'm not living i don't want to live in a hood i don't care i know it'll be cheap but i just can't do it i'm sorry um <laughs> i can't do it so I just feel like when I look, I'm probably going to look like starting January because my lease isn't up here until March. Um, so I'm going to start looking in January and start plotting. And I'm probably going to try to do it to where I move in or I can start moving in the middle of the month and not really do that thing where you don't move in until the date of when your lease is done at the other place i don't want to do that just didn't want to be like i think the people call it house poor because i could have moved into a one bedroom and honestly at the time i didn't know that my business was going to just keep going up um so <laughs> i could have moved into a two bedroom honestly um but yeah but i still i still don't want to be like going above my means so like i still want to 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 pay an okay amount but still be comfortable so like don't get me wrong i i love the studio this is my very first apartment alone so it's not a problem um but i'm a person that likes to move things around and i can't move anything around <laughs> uh everything in here literally that's the place so I've been here for what, six months now? So I'll have another six months. If I can just go back, I would automatically just move into a one bedroom because I just don't want to keep moving. That's my only thing. Like, I don't want to make a habit out of moving every time my lease is up. And granted, that's actually okay to do if you are unhappy or if you are dealing with like, I don't know, you know, a terrible management from the property, I don't know but i haven't had any issues here everything has been cool aside from the walls being paper thin i'm sure neighbors from two doors down can actually hear me talking right now so that's the only thing i absolutely hate that's why i, I was considering moving into a town home because i'm just like i cannot do this it's so thin you literally have to whisper so nobody hears you and even then they can still hear you i can go into the hallway and i can hear everybody's conversation in everybody's apartment even if they're talking like really low, you can still hear it. So that's the, the, the downfall of this place. But it is what it is. I'll be honest with y'all. I was going to move to Austin. <laughs> uh, if y'all noticed, I kept going out there. Because uh, I really, when I first visited, I kind of got, I don't know. It just felt different. So 
So I'm just like, this is where I'm gonna move, but it's too many moving pieces. So I'll just have to keep visiting until God lets me go. Uh, so shoot, I forgot I gotta steam these. <laughs> I'm moving too quick. This is what my Cadoba bowl <laughs> looks like. I think I said that right, Cadoba. Um, I got some pretty basic things. I didn't get everything, um, but I am starving. Uh, so I decided to just take a little breaky break. Um, I'm gonna give myself like, I don't know, like 15 minutes. Um, Y'all know how I was saying in my last vlog that rest is not a reward. So no matter if I finish the task or not, I'm gonna take a break. Um, and that's what I've been doing as well, like just in general. Um, it feels really good and like nice to not always have to be like, okay, well, once we finish this task, then we can, you know, sit down for two minutes. Like, no. Whenever I'm tired, I'm sitting down. Whenever I'm hungry, I'm gonna eat. I'm excited about your setup. It this like is her first call. Risa, do you wanna introduce yourself? Welcome to the Risa Judge family. I love German journaling method and all the, I'm sorry, I don't know about that one. You got me. So the take today, I wanted to engage with you guys, and I wanted to talk a little bit about what is the anatomy of a goal. I think I told you guys on a call the other day, that's the number one thing that motivates me, is somebody telling me I can't do something. Like, I will I will cut my life oh, yeah. off to make it happen if somebody tells me I can't. Okay. <laughs> I'm finally done with that part of it i was actually watching the resellers at university um this is a wednesday call these are typically the accountability calls um so love 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 these calls so informative i gotta try to figure out a way to at least go to one usually i always have at the very least one hater or two or three um, that that consistently dislikes the video and it's it's always funny um when i i see it because you you y'all can't see it but i can see it on the back end um and it's it's pretty consistent so whoever you are you probably are bored out of your mind to sit there and watch somebody's video and dislike it and you might even be subscribed that's probably the worst part so you just hating in silence but whatever <laughs> I'm sure you'll go ahead and dislike this one um, but anyway so yeah I'm actually about to just import everything that I just photographed I just need to make sure I, I was supposed to do an additional it is currently 5 p.m. Um, what's so funny is that I don't actually really care how long it takes for that process because some days I'm like fast and then some days I just take my sweet ass time or I, I don't realize I'm moving slow until I'm like, damn girl, you only did five. And then I'd be like, okay, let's, we gotta speed it up just a little bit. So um, I feel like that's just the pleasure of working for myself is that I can go as slow as I want or as fast as I want. Um, Cause there's really no rush if I'm being completely honest. Like ideally I do want to be done with work early, but it's not that serious because what am I going to do? I'm rushing to lay down so I can get on TikTok. Like, it's not much that I, I do with my work week. So, 
there's that. This is just a mental thing. Now, if I had an employee, I probably want them to be as quick as they can. Because the quicker you are, the more work you get to do. Which, if you're an employee, soak that in. Because that was me. I used to be that employee where I was really efficient at what I did. So then they gave me more work. <laughs> and what's so funny is that when I started working at um, Frito-Lay as a supervisor, I started doing that to people, which is pretty scummy. Um, the people that used to get done with their work early and they used to do a great job. And when I would look at the work and it's good, they still have time. I'm like, hey, could you help so-and-so? And, or, hey, could you go do this for me? And it's just kind of like, that's not fair. So it's like, it's nothing good comes from being, you know, the quickest, most efficient person, but more work. You're just rewarded with more work. So it's no real reason to actually rush. And since I work for myself, then it's really no uh, reason to rush. Just take all the time that I need. As long as it gets done that day, who cares, you know? I ain't gonna lie, I do shoot for about eight o'clock to be done with the computer. So I guess technically it is a little bit of a rush. It's almost kind of like me saying that I wanna wake up at 6 a.m. I could set an alarm, but why would I? You know what I'm saying? Like I don't have to, but I would like to wake up at that time. If I wake up at 6.45, you know, if I wake up at 5.45, you know, it just, it just, it is what it is, you know? I have really just like changed my whole perspective this month. Y'all just don't know. It is like night and day. And it's not even because my sales are better. Because when I showed y'all the recap of August, August was a great month. Um, this month, I've been having some dips and I looked at my numbers. They aren't looking good. Um, so that's another thing that I've also been working on is to not make my business my like... What is the word I'm looking for? My happiness. So like, I'm happy where I'm at in life right now. I'm happy. I'm grateful. Like, I'm stress free. Like, life is doing great. But my business right now, um, the sales aren't that great. <laughs> uh, so that's okay. You know what I'm saying? Two things can be happening at once. Because typically, this is the time that I be the most you know down is when my sales are down and that's because I am equating my worth to how good my business does and I'll be honest with y'all something that I've completely like didn't even recognize last this past weekend was the worst weekend that I feel like I've had since I've been making over 6k a month so since like what April essentially um this past weekend was the worst weekend I've ever had. Even in July, it wasn't this bad. Um, I think I maybe brought in about three to four hundred dollars, and I'm being generous, and that's like gross. <laughs> you know, that's the gross number. That's not even the profit. Um, so it was bad. But then when I thought about it, I'm like, wait, you didn't list for three days. What did you expect? You know what I'm saying? So I typically would list a hundred items a week. I didn't list seventy five items. So it's like, girl, like, be so fucking for real. Um, so that that's what I'm assuming it, it it's from, you know, because that's 75 items that I'm missing out on. Typically, during the week, I probably get maybe like five to 10 fast flips. So items that I just listed, they'll flip within a day or two. So that could easily have been, you know, 10 to 15 items that I missed out on um, that didn't sell as quickly. But let me stop rambling. I'm gonna let y'all go. Bye.